But anyway, Trump was in Wisconsin where he was descended upon by flies. And now they're building a coal plant a week. I don't like flies. Get out of here, fly. Never been, never been a big fan of flies. You don't mind my bringing that up, do you? <laughs> anyway, this is a very aggressive sucker, though. This, this one. This one in particular is very aggressive. Like, I'm going to be aggressive for our country. You can probably <laughs> say that. Oh, that, that was a hell of a segue. I have to give him that. It's like he's going to run this country like a fly. Like an aggressive fly. He's always being swarmed by flies. You know, maybe if you change your diaper more often, <laughs> there wouldn't be so many flies. And when he's not attracting flies, he's, uh, he's lying. As a massive Category 5 hurricane heads towards Florida, Trump has been spreading untruths about the Biden response to the hurricane in North Carolina that are so egregious, even their Republican senator had to ask him to stop. Uh, but he wrote, the great people of North Carolina are being stood up by Harris and Biden who are giving almost all of the FEMA money to illegal immigrants in what is now considered to be the worst rescue operation in the history of the U.S. And of course, not only is none of that true, President Biden hasn't taken any money from FEMA to use for immigration. But you know who did? Oh, do I even have to say? <laughs> That's right. In 2018, guess who moved $10 million from FEMA to, to immigration? And the next year, in the middle of hurricane season, he moved nearly $40 million to ICE. And then we have the other misleading meteorologist, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who's pushing a theory that says Democrats control storms. She wrote, yes, they can control the weather. It's ridiculous to lie and say it can't be done. <laughs> Listen, Margaret, if they could control the weather, they would have made sure a 